what you're seeing now is the multiplication table grid. Now the diagonal line you can see there is the power of 2 going through the multiplication grid. All right? Having a compatible ratio. Now the other two above it, which is the power of 3 and 4, and it goes on and on, <coughs> all right, don't have a compatible ratio. And you can see why. The, see, the straight lines through this multiplication grid, vertical, horizontal, diagonal, all are compatible with A plus B equals C. They've all got a compatible ratio. And when you see those two above, three and four, you can see where they haven't. All right? They don't go in a straight line. Therefore, they're not compatible. There's not, they, haven't, they haven't got even spacing between their numbers. Now, that diagonal there, the power of two, you'll find it's got even spacing between their numbers. All right? That makes it compatible. Simple as that. Right in front of you. And... Those other powers, you can see, they go closer and closer towards the horizontal. Now, if, they, if ever they got to the horizontal, right, they'd have A plus B equals C. But it'll never get there. It gets cl finer and closer together, closer together, finer and finer, but never make that horizontal buddy thing across. Yeah, right? Impossible. So there you are. That's the answer. No need to be complicated. Anyhow, <coughs> um, I'll, I'll sign off for that. Oh, I'll just switch to myself to let you know who's uh, given you this dis dissertation. See, here I am, Arthur Knight, right? Just an ordinary lay person. Giving you a simple answer to Fermat's last theorem. No gobbledygook. Anyhow, I'll switch back. Anyhow, I'll sign off at that. <coughs>